あのおそらく私自身が思うのはですねやはり、まあ、田舎で、えー、あの田舎の子供として育ったそれであんまり都市的なものはない中で、まあ、自然を相手にこういろいろ友達と遊んで過ごすんですけどなんかその時代の気持ちをずっと持ち続けているっていうそれは自分では感じてます。全て言語で説明できるかするようになったのは日本の場合もやはりモダニズムが日本に入ってからで,でそれで一番はですねあのアンドリューさん言われたように授業の時に学生にまずあなたの設計のコンセプトを述べなさいいうそれは非常にあの間違ったスタートだと思う私自身も、うん、私自身は実はあの自分のやっていることの意味を自分では考えないようにしてるでこれすごく大事なことで僕はですねデザイン能力とデザインに関する言語能力はもうその和は一定であるっていうふうに考えていて高くなれば造形能力が減って。Teranobu Fujimori is working with postgraduate architecture students from Kingston University in constructing his tea house for the Japanese House Architecture and Life After 1945 exhibition at the Barbican. So, the, the Barbican Center has commissioned、uh, Fujimori to participate in、uh, their exhibition, and、uh, Fujimori、uh, Uh, suggested to the Barbican to contact us, the, the Unit 5 at Kingston University, to help him to realize his tea house. I suppose his approach is very sort of、uh, the approach that I believe in architecture, which is to do with、uh, hands on making and also the sort of involving the、uh, people,、uh, I suppose non professional people, through the,、uh, within the process of building that contribute to the design of the building. The teaching of building skills in this university, I, I think, is very valuable. It's something that doesn't happen enough and will be a huge benefit when you go out into the real world to try and get a job. We're finding at the moment that many graduates have got fantastic design skills, but they're only skin deep. So, to understand what's behind the veneer is really important. Led by Takeshi Hayatsu, the Unit 5 students took Fujimori's sketches for his tea house and interpreted his drawings into construction methods to then craft and build the one to one structure. In a collaborative spirit typical to that of Fujimori project, the unit made the drawings a reality at their workshop in Kingston. Prefabricating elements of the tea house, the students took inspiration from their studies into traditional Japanese construction techniques. The Japanese tea ceremony is a highly significant custom and one that is prominent in the work of Fujimori. Once installed at the Barbican, the tea house will host a number of tea ceremonies throughout the duration of the exhibition. Following on from the prefabrication period, the students undertook a construction dry run at the library on the university's campus. The dry run proved to be a useful exercise in testing the assembly method and was carried out over two days. With only some minor adjustments to make as a result, the dry run was a success in testing the prefabricated elements of the tea house design. At this point, Fujimori had flown over to the UK to meet with the students and see their progress. For this project, Fujimori is also collaborating with the product design department. And the bronze casting architecture designate at Kingston University. Second year product design students 
have been designing various elements of the tea house, from the lampshades and stools to the hearth and bowls, whilst fourth year architecture students have been casting fittings and handles to be used throughout the design. Fujimori visited and discussed with the students which of their design would relate best with his ideas. The next stage was making Fujimori's trademark burn wood timber cladding, a traditional technique called yakisugi, which he was going to teach the students. あの、Construction began at the Barbican a few weeks before the exhibition opened. With all hands on deck to get the tea house ready on time. As the yakisugi cladding was fixed, the character of the tea house began to emerge. The timbers were fitted at irregular intervals. Plaster was applied in the gaps between the yakisugi panels to give a contrast to the burned wood. Over the course of a few days, the interior was completely plastered to achieve a clean white finish. As the tea house neared completion, the garden was installed with characteristic Fujimori elements in the moss hills and organic forms. Fujimori's Tea House is exhibited um, as part of the exhibition The Japanese House, Architecture and Life after 1945 uh, at the Barbican Art Gallery in London. The exhibition more generally tackles the um, issue and the history of Japanese domestic architecture from the end of the Second World War until today. And Fujimori's work um, really has a unique uh, place in that history. The tea house and the garden 
is um, exhibited right next to a section on vernacular architecture in which you can also find um, the models and work of Atelier Boho uh, who have also used similar methods and way of working uh, as Fujimori. The Moriyama House uh, and Fujimori's Tea House are composing the uh, backbone, the really the central uh, elements of the exhibition in the lower gallery. A recreation of the Moriyama House by Nishizawa is uh, exhibited in contrast with Fujimori's tea house in which the, the texture, the materials, the natural elements are playing a crucial role. Well, the design of the tea house is not only dictated by its shape, on which you have a kind of repeated echo of the round shape, which Fujimori describes as being the full moon. So from this uh, lamp shade inside, which has this round circle, to the shape of the windows, which echo the same shape of the moon, to different elements of the garden, which repeat this kind of pattern, um, there is a sense of the tea house being connected to the elements and to the passing of time. But what I think is also extremely interesting with its construction is the materiality and the play on the textures. There is a play with a different, uh, the contrast of colors, the white plaster being in clashing with the, uh, the black shard wood, different types of wood that are being used, uh, the chestnut for the legs, the larch and the different elements, the moss for the garden. I think this whole merging and collision of different textures is what makes the tea house and the garden one unique organic whole. And I think that's one of the amazing aspects of its design and the way Fujimori conceived it. He also paid a lot of attention to detail, the, the pattern of the charcoal on the roof, uh, which uh, when I was uh, discussing yesterday with Fujimori-san and of course Takeshi, that it was a very intuitive process of placing out the charcoal bits. So there is also an element of something very uh, collaborative, something very intuitive, something almost unconscious in the approach. And lastly, one I think something that you can feel in the tea house is the collaborative nature of, what, of how Fujimori works. You can really feel, and this is one something that I was extremely excited about, that it was a collaboration with the students, with the Kingston University, uh, with Takeshi, who really led this project in a wonderful way, and really how um, Fujimori was not thinking about his own architecture uh, in terms of a hierarchy, but he really put himself at the same level and, and really was working as a way of uh, teaching through the making of things.